الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى the most high the most merciful the most compassionate the first and the last the creator of the heavens and earth out of his infinite majesty his hikmah and his his divinity سبحانه وتعالى that he gives the believer hope Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows us through his his signs and his creation the beauty in his creation and he shows us in the signs from the shara from the Quran and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that this inspires the believer this gives the believer hope in times of great trials and tribulations as we see all throughout the world the Muslims are suffering they're going through struggles and trials and they will continue to have trials and struggles and may Allah make their affairs easy and good however we should never give up hope Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes clear for us his divine attributes and his names and that we can rely and depend on our Lord subhanahu call Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitabihi al-kareem بعد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبح لله ما في السماوات والأرض وهو العزيز الحكيم لا الملك السماوات والأرض يحيي ويميت وعلى كل شيء قدير هو أول والآخر والظاهر والباطن وهو بكل شيء عليم هو الذي خلق السماوات والأرض في ستة أيام ثم استوى على العرش يعلم ما يلج في الأرض وما يخرج منها وما ينزل من السماء وما يعرج فيها وهو معكم أينما كنتم الله بما تعملون بصير لا الملك السماوات والأرض ولا الله ترجع الأمور يلج الليل في النهار ويلج النهار في الليل وهو عليم بذات الصدور آمنوا بالله ورسوله وأنفقوا مما جعل لكم مستخلفين فيه فالذين آمنوا منكم وأنفقوا لهم أجر كبير وما لكم, وما لكم لا تؤمنون بالله ورسول يدعوكم لتؤمنوا بربكم وقد أخذ مثاككم إن كنتم مؤمنين هو الذي ينزل على عبده آيات بينات ليخرجكم من الظلمات إلى النور وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ بِكُمْ لَرَوْفُ الرَّحِيمُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in those verses in Surah Al-Hadid He says, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful in the beginning of the surah Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Whatever is in the heavens and the earth Let it declare the praises and glory of Allah For He is the exalted in might, the wise or the all-wise. To him belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. It is he who gives life and death, and he has power over all things. He is the first and the last, the most high and the closest, and he has full knowledge of all things. He it is who created the heavens and the earth in six days and rose above his throne. He knows what enters within the earth and what comes forth out of it, what comes down from heaven and what mounts up to it. And He is with you wheresoever you, you may be. And Allah sees well all that you do. To Him belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth and all affairs are referred back to Allah. He merges night into day and He merges day into night and He has full knowledge of the secrets of all hearts. Believe in Allah and His Messenger and spend in charity out of the sustenance whereof He has made you heirs. For those of you who believe and spend, for them is a great reward. What cause have ye why ye should not believe in Allah? And the Messenger invites you to believe in your Lord and has indeed taken your covenant if ye are men of faith. He is the one who sends to His servant uh, manifest signs that he may lead you from the depths of darkness into the light and verily Allah is to you most kind and merciful we could go to the many explanations from the Quran from the Salaf Asali from the righteous uh, predecessors on how they explain 
these verses, and we would find tremendous amounts of benefit. But even amongst just the Vahir, just reading those ayats is sufficient for us. It's sufficient for us to see the many signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His grace, His mercy, His favor upon us. And that we should believe in Him subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we should have hope, and hope for His mercy, and know that He subhanahu wa ta'ala rose above His throne. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala istawa ala ala arsh, ar-Rahman ala arsh istawa. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rose above His throne in a manner that suits His majesty, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And He does not require rest. He does not require sleep as mankind lives and dies and needs rest and needs food. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is free from all of those attributes. Those attributes that are mithmoon. Those attributes that show weakness. And those attributes that require. Because Allah requires nothing. He only asks that we believe in Him. And we worship Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we put our trust in Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good. And raise us up amongst the ranks of the righteous. And bless us to be of those who trust in Him. Because nothing and no one can hurt you. Without the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah mentioned in the verse, that He gives life and He gives death. Subhanallah. What do you need after that? So realize and remember, ayyu al mu'minun, O believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, do not give up hope in whatever struggle that you face, and whatever difficulty that is before you, and whatever difficulty that your whole nation is facing. With the trials and oppression we see in Syria, with the difficulties we see our brothers in Iraq and Afghanistan that seem to never get peace. The bloodshed is, is constantly being, their blood is as if it is, is not worth anything. As our brothers in Palestine are feeling the, the pain. Our brothers and sisters, the brothers in Egypt, the brothers everywhere, in, in Somalia, and wherever they may be, oppressed and having difficulty. Realize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah, kulli shayin qadir. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is over all things omnipotent. He controls the affairs. So return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask that Allah brings peace in Pakistan and peace in Afghanistan and peace in Iraq and peace wherever the Muslims may be and wherever they're suffering and wherever there's turmoil in the earth. Allah can establish that. But return to Him and, and, and supplicate and, 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 and ask your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala for His favors. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for His grace and his favor upon all of us and guidance and may Allah forgive us of our many sins and anything that I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and any mistakes that I made were from myself and the shaitan